Hello and welcome back to Ravewood Acres. Today we have another outstanding mesh network communications video. We are going to be talking vehicle antenna mounting options, primarily or specifically for this video, the M N M O or MO style mounting. Uh, what is that? That is the new Motorola antenna mount, which is used typically in your professional communications, two-way communication systems, public safety, commercial sector. You've probably seen it before and may not have realized it. Most of your police cruisers, a lot of times, you know, they got an antenna sticking out the top of their hood, off the trunk, whatever. That is usually this style of mounting. I'm going to tell you why I'm using it uh, for a couple reasons. And then why should you uh, standardize your mounting, especially if you you're a communications geek like myself and you have multiple two-way communication devices that you want to use but maybe not have an antenna farm on your vehicle all right let's get started so the first thing we're going to talk about is just this mount this is a nagoya mount on uh, this one purchased off amazon for like 49 dollars and some change i'll put of course a link down below it's the rb 700 november in uh, nagoya makes a lot of different styles and antennas. Uh, a lot of people may know them for their flexible whip antennas that work really good with your uh, handheld two-way radios like your Beofangs, your Kenwoods, you know, any of the, you know, uh, especially the SMA style mounting ones. They do make, I believe they do make the uh, BNC style too, if you know what that is. <clears throat> that's the style. No, that's not that style. Never mind. We won't digress there. Um, <clears throat> So this one is set up, uh, it has of course the mount and a connected coaxial cable with 20 feet of length and the PL259 connector on the end, which of course can be adapted to your uh, SMA style uh, connector on your mesh device. This mount is designed to mount on the trunk lid if that's where you want to mount it or the hood of your vehicle. It is very universal so it's completely adjustable see i can rotate that rotate that around this part right here you uh, obviously loosen up these set screws slide this over the edge of your trunk or hood and um and then tighten those down and then you can adjust this to you know level your antenna out or turn it to level it this way however you choose and of course tighten all these uh, allen bolts down the stainless steel allen bolts down and you'd be off and running and of course route your coaxial cable and adapt it to your device so myself if you don't know i am a uh, amateur radio operator and uh, i also have uh, grms so i can use one mount this standardized mount right uh to instead of having multiple antenna mounts on the vehicle and multiple antennas, which in some situations that might be what you want, but in mine that currently is not what we want. Uh, this makes it easy. This one's gonna go onto my, my commuter vehicle and then I can have this antenna, which we'll talk here in a second, or others as I continue to search for good vehicle mount, uh, vehicle uh, mesh or LoRa style antennas because uh, that's been a problem that I've noticed since I started down this path is a lot of the antennas are they're not really outdoor antennas and then if they are an outdoor antenna this is you got like these you know these big old things like which it's not flexible this could be adapted to mount to a vehicle but it's not the best option right uh, and a lot of people are like I don't want to wouldn't want to mount that to their vehicle so uh, this on the other hand is pretty subtle and uh, fairly non-noticeable and all right so pricing the reason i went with the nagoya yes it was the cheapest one uh, that i found maybe not the cheapest but it was definitely in there it was 49.95 and there's other ones diamond makes one uh, that's 79 dollars uh, off D dx engineering's website and then they have a comment one which i think is about 72 so very very similar style and uh, of mounts I've had uh, good success with my Nagoya flexible whip antennas that I have for my handheld radios. So I don't think I'll have any problems with this antenna mount. And of course, in the future, if I do, I will share that with you. So moving on to antennas. So I went with this style antenna. This one I got from 
arcantennas.com. I will, of course, provide a link for that below uh, if you're interested in checking out. They have lots of different styles of antennas. I mean, the, the website is, that's what they do. That's what they sell as antennas. Uh, a little bit about this antenna. It's an RF Max antenna. It's the RSGB-MB-7K-3-MEO K dash three dash M E O or MO, uh, <clears throat> as I like to say. And then it is a shot glass omnidirectional antenna is the IMS band, which is 900 megahertz or more specifically 902 to 928 megahertz. It, um, of course, as we already mentioned, it's the Mo mounting style. It is IP67 waterproof. Uh, it can handle up to 45 watts, which of course, if you're using, you know, Laura, you're not going to be pushing 45 watts legally. Um, so there's what you have for that antenna, $45 and some change, not cheap, but good antennas are not cheap. All right. Another, let's finish this up. Just talk the standardization thing. Why I recommend trying to go with that. If you have multiple vehicles that you're going to be using. Now, if you have one vehicle it may not be that this big of a deal, but our ultimate goal is to have, um, lower devices, in each vehicle a vehicle permanent style that's what we got on the jeep cherokee and the jeep cherokee already had a flush mount which i'll throw throw a picture of that in the top of it that i used to run a um scanner antenna off of and have the you know and of course you know plugged into my scanner um so i already had that there already had the hole in the vehicle already had the coaxial cable so why not buy an antenna that would mount right onto that that i could get my connect my t-beam to which is actually mounted to my overhead console there'll be a future video talking that as as we continue to perfect that system um, but that way that device is always in there and then all my other vehicles can have something similar now if one vehicle you're an amateur radio operator and you have you know your mobile radio in there your vhf uhf radio uh, and you want to be able to um swap antennas between you know a LoRa antenna and your two meter 70 70 meter antenna uh, to use that radio then you only have to have one mount that's a good option an additional feature is these are really easy just to thread on and off by hand so you got to go through a car wash you're off road and you're going down a really brushy road you want to remove it uh, you just pull it off throw a little dust cap on there uh, and continue on your day so that's my reasoning behind the Mo style mounting. Uh, I think it's the best one out there, in my personal opinion, right? If you might have other opinions, if you do, and whatever you're using, and you found a really great option, that's what we like to hear. We want to hear from you. Please put comments down below. Let us know. Check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. If you've been following this long, please, that means you found something useful about this video. Subscribe to the channel. Like. Check out our other social media links. You can follow us along there. And as always, have a great day. And we'll see you next time.